These things don't always have to be complicated or big changes just to get a bit more quad loading in your squatting. So as we mentioned, for long-limbed or long-led individuals, they're going to benefit a lot more from doing some unilateral work in their training because they're going to have a more higher chance of having an imbalance. So my favorite version for this, for long-legged lifters, is a front foot elevated split squat. The reason for that is, A, we're ticking the box of doing some unilateral work, but B, the front foot elevated split squat specifically is going to be more quad dominant. So it's also going to be primarily working the weak point that they're naturally going to have anyway. So what we're going to do here is have Amber just set her front foot on a short block. Her front foot is going to be angled very slightly inwards. And likewise, then when we're doing this, we also want to see that her knee is pointing very slightly inwards in line with her second and third toe throughout. She's going to take a step back on tiptoes, stand nice and tall get your balance. So now the goal whilst we're here, you can load this however you want. It could be a barbell, could be dumbbells. If you wanted to work stability a bit more, you could even do it with something like a dumbbell on the contralateral side. So on the opposite side to the loaded leg, that would also get you some extra glute med work on the working side if you want to do that. But what we're looking for throughout is that the shoulder joint and the hip joint stay completely level throughout the movement. Okay. And now as we go down, we're not going to think about it as a sitting down movement because we want to make this as quad dominant as possible. What we're going to think about as we go down is just driving that front knee as far forward over the toe as we can like so. So now her kneecap is way in front of her toes here. And then when we push up again, rather than thinking push up, we're thinking drive this knee back as far as we can. So it's not an up and down movement in your head at all. It's a knee forward and knee back move. So if you don't mind just going through that for me, like that, and then drop it back. Now, the reason that this is a better version than doing it on the floor is just because this elevation on the front foot allows us to get a bit more forward knee travel, and it means we're less likely to hit our knee on the floor at the bottom in the back than the bottom position here. So it allows Amber to get first. See, she's now on the floor here. So if her front foot wasn't on this block, she would have had to stop here and we'd get less range. But now, if, because of the front foot elevation, we can get a greater stretch on the quad here, and we can pretty much get her hip joint below her kneecap, like the bottom of a squat, even in a single leg variation here. Back up, just do one or two more for me. And then the whole time, as we're driving up, we want to keep pressure on the toe, especially as we drive that knee back. As soon as we lose any pressure through the toe here pushing up, we're going to lose a lot of quad activation. So again, stretch at the bottom, and then drive the knee back to complete the movement. So that is my favorite go-to unilateral exercise for long-legged lifters. You could use other variations, but that one's just really useful because it targets primarily the quad as well. Other variations that are really helpful for long-legged individuals with their squats are going to be one and a half rep squats. So basically we do the bottom half of the movement twice. So you go all the way down, come halfway back up, go back to the bottom before you go back up. You're just going to be spending more time in the part of the lift that you're going to be weakest at. In terms of front loaded squats you've also got the option of doing a zercher squat so with the bar held in the crook of your elbows also just simple things like elevating the heels in your squat variations is going to allow you to get more forward knee travel and more quad loading from the exact same movement so these things don't always have to be complicated or big changes just to tweak these things to get a bit more quad loading in your squatting okay i hope you guys found that useful see you next time